Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the new North Dighton Playground. Um, I just want to start off and just briefly tell you guys a little bit about this project. Um, we set out to bring the first accessible and inclusive playground to the town of, town of Dighton, and we couldn't think of a better place to do it than right here in North Dighton. Um, we all recognize how important bringing a playground back to this site after 16 years of absence is to the community. We were able to, on our second attempt, successfully secure funding for this project through our CPC. This allowed us to fund the project entirely without additional tax burden to the residents of Dighton. Once approved by the CPC, a Warren article was presented at our June annual town meeting, and I'm proud to say that it was voted on and passed unanimously. As you may have noticed, walking into the, in, walking into the playground, the entire facility looks much different. Um, using funds from both this year's annual town meeting and prior CPC funding from the 2019 annual town meeting, we were able to create an accessible walkway from the parking area to all aspects of the park, create a memorial garden and relocate the Charles Miller Memorial Stone, install new fencing for the baseball field, install new concrete dugouts, and privacy fencing between the park and our neighbors. We are also currently working with the Bristol Plymouth Technical High School Electrical Program to replace the LED, uh, replace the ball field lighting with new energy efficient LED lighting, which is a great opportunity for our town to support a unique learning opportunity for those students and furthering the sense of community with one of our life local high school programs. We had the pleasure of designing this playground with Jeff Hawkwater from Compan Playgrounds, who's here with us today. Um, we can't say enough about Jeff's attention to detail and helping us meet our goals of making this pl playground inclusive for a wide age range of kids, providing multiple aspects of play, um, which you can see, and we'll, we'll give you a little tour afterwards too and explain some of it. So our first section here is, is um, mostly geared towards the toddler group, and we have a completely accessible uh, turf surface. There's a couple small play features for that age group. You also see we have here, which is an accessible an inclusive seesaw and a fully accessible universal carousel. When you move on to the next section, we have what's called the Wishes Tower, um, which has some climbing and slide play features, um, and that caters to a, a wider range of kids from ages 5 to 12. And then in the back corner, we have an entire sand area, which is also accessible um, and can be played on by, by that same age, age group of kids. So we did all this, and Jeff was excellent at meeting all our needs and keeping us within our budget. Um, we chose what's called the Robinia line from Compan because it fits Dighton's small country charm, and it's also extremely unique. The Robinia line is made out of organic timbers cut from sustainable forest, and each timber is hand cut, so every Robinia playground is truly one of a kind. When designing the playground, we also wanted to recognize that accessibility and inclusion isn't all about the physical aspects of the park. We couldn't be more proud to host our Playground Communication Board, which is right over here. Um, that was awarded to us from the Doug Flutie Junior Foundation for Autism. This piece allows a new way to promote inclusivity and interaction. It's also a great learning tool, regardless of age or ability. The Doug Flutie Junior Foundation's mission is to have a communication board in every town in Massachusetts. And we are honored to have received one. So please take a moment check it out, scan the QR code, and visit the website, and support them if you can. Again, we'll be very happy to rock around with all of you after the ceremony and any, answer any questions that you have about the playground. Now I want to take a moment to thank some folks who made this project possible and were part of turning once was a giant sandbox into the amazing playground that you see here today. I want to start off with thanking all the residents of the town of Dayton for all their support throughout the entire process. Uh, many of you attended parks meetings, CPC meetings, and annual town meetings um, to get this project done. And especially the North Dayton residents for their support, patience, and perseverance. No one wanted this playground more than the people right here in this neighborhood who fought time after time to make it a reality. This project really was a result of the sense of community we have here in Dayton. I wanna thank Seascapes Incorporated, for donating Riverstone and mulch as part of our landscaping projects that we had along the fencing and in the front memorial garden. 
I want to thank the members of the CPC for their flexibility in letting us to try, try, and try again <laughs> to present our plans and ultimately their approval to fund this project at annual town meeting. Thank you to my fellow Commission on Disability members, Jonathan Gale, Nicole Mello, and Ken Pacheco. Whether it was answering ADA-related questions, shuffling mulch and installing maps, or just overall encouragement, your support for this project is greatly appreciated. Thank you to my fellow Parks Commissioners, Sue Cody and Rachel Guar, who are here with me today, and also to David Rosa, who was a member of the Commission and our CPC representative when we presented our project for funding. And I also want to take a minute to thank Tim Ryans, prior Parks and Rec Commission member, who put a lot of time and effort in years past for this project, which paved the way for us to get where we are today. From start to finish, it was a team effort. I want to thank our building commissioner, Jim Aguiar, for his cooperative efforts with Parks and Rec, working with our fencing contractors and Bristol Plymouth on the fencing and lighting projects. Thank you to our highway superintendent, Tom Ferry, for fielding my million questions, odd requests, and support of our playground installers with materials, equipment, and manpower to keep the project moving along. Last and absolutely most important, I want to send a giant thank you to our highway department staff, Nick Reynolds, Mike Ferriby, Eric Monis, Elder Ferreira, Mark Carr, James Woodson, Jeff Mental, and Richard Mendonca. Not one aspect of what you see here today would have been possible without their hard work. Um, from excavating, fencing, the concrete work, playground servicing, and landscaping, they were the heart and soul of this project. Um, no matter what we asked, they got it done and did a remarkable job. I had the opportunity to make plenty of site visits and talk with these guys. And they all had a great sense of pride and wanted to deliver an amazing finished product for the community, and that's exactly what they did. So, if everyone, can we just give a big round of applause for the Titan Highway Department? So, I want to thank you all for coming today, and please enjoy the new playground.